Oh my no, God. God! No, God, please, no! 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 Hey guys, it's your brother here, Oggs from the US. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below, join the family. It's gonna take you only one second of your life, one click, and we are all set. Anyways, people, you know, I've been telling you to calm down, right? Calma, 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 because I'm trying to be positive, okay? But this time in this video, I will be a little bit negative because we don't have good news. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking every single day. In about three weeks now, the preseason is going to start. We haven't signed anybody yet. And we have some bad news from the international break or whatever, international games. Very, very bad news. And don't ask me to be positive when, you know, I have nothing to be positive about. I know that we are walking behind closed doors, but I know that Thomas Tuko is looking for specific players to fit in his system. He's not a, a manager that will adapt to players. He made it very clear, even the last press conference. He said that it's not about the setup. It's not about the system. So it looks like he's targeting players that only will fit, will fit the way he want to play. He's not going to change his way of play to adapt to an, anybody. That's why I've been telling you that those so-called average players can be world-class in a different setup. But Thomas Tuko doesn't want to do it. He want Kunde to play in the Aspiliqueta role. He want to continue with three at the back system. That's why we are pinpointing certain players only. And that's why you see teams like Aston Villa or other teams making progress, signing players. But we are just waiting for specific players. And this time, Gilles Kunde could be out for more than two months. A bad hamstring injury and he needs a surgery. He might have a surgery tomorrow and that is not a, a good news for Chelsea Football Club. Listen, people, <clears throat> let me show you something. You see this guy, huh? His name is Didier Deschamps, ex-Blue. You know, one of us, we can consider him as one of us because he played for us. He won us Europe, uh, I mean, um, the FA Cup and I think another trophy or Super Cup or something like that. You know, back in the day with President George Weah, Marcel Desailly and, you know, Frank Lebeuf when the French Revolution uh, started at Chelsea Football Club, remember? So you can consider him as a legend, as one of us. But every time this brother has a, a chance to call N'Golo Kante, even when he's injured, he's going to do it. He doesn't care about Chelsea Football Club anymore. He cares about his own job. Get me what I want right now, and I don't care what's going to happen to you tomorrow. I don't care about your health. He knew it. This brother knew that Gilles Kunde been suffering, have some muscle fatigue here and there for months. I'm going to show you the interview and you will understand why are you going to force somebody who got muscle fatigue to play because you know hamstring is coming. You don't need to be a doctor here to understand that when people are fatigued, they're going to get injured. Engolo Kante, he been torturing that brother for years, forcing him to win games for him chelsea also been abusing engolo kante by the way but i want to focus on didier jean because he's making me mad i am not happy at all so kunde now that guy is not lucky man that guy is not lucky looks like the move to chelsea just we, we do we have just to cancel this move it's either sevilla making it impossible for us or kunde himself for some reason or injuries is going to make it almost difficult for us to go for him 
what do you think about it so let me go and show you some other thing so this is what i say here did the shah he knew it he knew it i'm gonna show you the interview that brother knew that um uh he knew that uh what kunde was injured and he decided to 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 play him just like under Mauricio sari uh, he decided to use injection in order to <clears throat> to play in golo kante in the final of the of uh, of europa league and then he was forced with friends the same year to play the world cup under a lot of pain a lot of injections and we are struggling today because we never gave Ingolo Kante pro a proper rest and people who don't know anything about football will tell you Ingolo Kante is injury prone and blah 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 they don't even understand what the definition of injury prone is I'm not gonna get there because it's just making me so mad so look at Didier Deschamps here Jules Kunde injured his ham hamstring against Croatia and that is not even the beginning it started Remember the videos that I made early on complaining how Didier Deschamps is misusing Kunde and N'Golo Kante? I said it before even the bad injury. So this guy, man, he makes me sick. So look at this. France boss Didier Deschamps uh, on the Chelsea target because he's still just a target so far. I know very well his athletic condition today. Tomorrow he will have... An intervention this means a surgery wow so if somebody need a surgery for a hamstring that is the bad one because normally a hamstring you're gonna take some natural treatment minimum two weeks you can come back but when you you need a surgery for a hamstring that is a bad one that is can can put you out for more than two or three months okay the one that uh, some of Chelsea players had in the past. And that has um, the habit of coming back and back and back again. You don't want to get a surgery in a hamstring. I've been there. I know what I'm talking about. So look at this. So do we really need Gilles Kunde? It looks like the guy is not made for Chelsea Football Club. You know, Kunde is my country boy. I am supposed to come here and hype him, tell tell you how he's better than anybody on the or, or on earth and whatever. But I never really felt it about Kunde. I said it a thousand times. I'm gonna welcome him at Chelsea Football Club. First of all, I don't want my centre back to be short like him. I don't have a good feeling about him unless if he plays as a Spiliqueta or in the midfield somewhere. But he's not like my top number one choice. But just like Lukaku, you play for my team. I'm going to welcome you. I'm, I don't hate people. We all have choices in life. And I don't like the hype that big account are going to come up to influence everybody on social media behind somebody. I don't like that. I just do my own research and I understand things my own way. So, I don't know, man. What are we going to do now? Are we going to continue and wait for him? Because he's going to miss the freaking preseason. He's going to meet the preseason. Kante also been out after being forced in the first game to play for France. Boom, out. He might also miss the beginning of the preseason. And that's why we always start like season very, very low because... Different players are coming in different stages of the preseason. Some of them don't even go on preseason with uh, with the team. Oh, man, 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 man. I don't know. So what is the solution now? Because Thomas Tuchel looks like he was Kunde or na or nobody. This is the danger of having a systematic coach, like the coach who who emphasize everything on his way, on his system, on people who can only fit his system. Because you have to be, you know, you have to have options. Now, we, we he was building his transfer, his transfer um, dealings on the players that will fit only his system. I don't know. I don't know. 
What do you think is a Chelsea thing? Should we continue with Jill Kunde or look for our other alternatives? So, I don't know. Some people are celebrating. Some people are laughing. A lot of kind of memes. I don't know even what that means. But Didier Deschamps, you have blood on your hand, in your hand. Just like uh, sometimes Chelsea have blood in their hand for forcing Angolo Kante to play stupid games. Thank you.